Now it's time to create a new project. To create a new project, you can go to File, New, which will open the New Project window. Under this window, you can give your project a unique name. And what's really important is to find a folder where you know where this project will be stored later. So, uh, and when you do save this to this folder, it will create a lot of files. So do not save this to your desktop where you'll have files scattered all across your desktop window. So for me, I created a, a folder already on my desktop under Visu Plus called Project. So that's where I'm gonna save my project. Uh, below that, you can select if you're going to be making a screen for an industrial PC or the actual HMIs from Phoenix Contact. So for my demo, I'm going to use the TP6 series, for instance, 10 inch, uh, which will set up your screens to match that HMI. You can adjust the width and height of your screens, the screen color on this page, um, which is pretty self-explanatory. Moving on to our next page in the new project window, you can edit here how many screens you want, which is nice. You can up to 10 screens there. You can add alarms, logging, trending, um, and some of those basic parameters. Uh, you can add the navigation bar and position it where you want it on your screens. You can add a logo and import an image, which is nice. You can add a screen title, buttons, and a status bar there. So for now, I'm just going to finish, which will create my first project. One important aspect of Visu Plus Express is understanding how to correctly save your project. To save your project, you wanna go into the Project Explorer window first and make sure the correct project name is selected. You can technically open multiple projects at one time and whatever project name is selected is the project that's going to be saved. So in my project, I have just project one and to save this project, I can go to this icon, which is save all or file save all. If I wanna save my project as a different version or iteration, I can go to file save as, which will guide me to my file folders. And then I can rename my project version two, for instance, and create a separate folder, which will be project one underscore version two, for instance, and then save it into that folder. Once you save your project, you'll notice in your file folder where you saved it on your computer, that there are a lot of files associated with this project. That is definitely why you do not wanna save it on your desktop because you'll have a lot of files which will clutter your desktop. The correct file to open up later to edit your project is the Visual Plus Express document file type, which you can see here. Furthermore, if you wanted to export this project and share it with colleagues or other engineers, you can right click on the folder itself and then send it to a compressed folder, which is a lot smaller for sending over email. That is how to correctly save your project in Visual Plus Express.